Okay, so this is the bat cave. This is my store wall. And I keep all the fabric that people have given me or that I've purchased. Um, most of it's in project sections. So I put all my flannel for pajama pants. Um, fatigues are together. Cottons are together. And then if it has specific projects, I put them together in project groups. So that is the wall that you've seen in Amelia's videos, and that's just your selection. So any other craft type items are in bins, um, like yarn, things like that, or organized that way. Bruce built me a cutting table, which is counter height and fits a large mat. And all of my rulers are on the shelf behind. I have a desk that I took, um, put an ironing board on top of. So I have it a little ironing board in the corner. And then I have my sewing machine right across from it. And all my threads are on the wall behind it. And then we have the long arm section, which is Bruce built a rack for my batting. And I hang my to be quilted quilts up there. I have my embroider machine, shishiko machine, and serger on that wall, as well as um, some project ideas that I'm working on. And then my long arm takes up the main part of the room. And I have projects that are in progress, organized in scrapbook boxes. So the directions, all the fabric, are put together and I've been working on Bargello quilts so sometimes you audition Bargello fabrics and they don't work out so I have the extra two and a half inch strips stored all in one bin so that they're all together and someday they will become either a scrap quilt or a join another project then all my long arm supplies my books for my long arming business all my patterns, my thread selection is all on the shelf behind the long arm. They're all in numerical order, so it's easy to find them. They're cataloged by thread type and also um, by the company that I purchased them from. So all my long arm stuff is on this side of the room. Ikea is your friend. I have all my... <coughs> Um, long arm bobbins, things like that in drawers to keep them all organized. All the tools, the direction sheets, the extra feet are all have their own little spot to live. And then I have additional sewing supplies in these plastic um, bins and it's labeled by what it contains. Under the long arm machine, I have like t-shirt quilt fabrics, um, stabilizer. And then on the other side, I have um, scraps where they're organized by color. So like if I finish a quilt, I keep the scraps together so that someday, haha, -ha, they become a scrap quilt. Um, and the dog has its own bed. So that's where Molly sleeps. And that's about it. Any resources I have back here in the corner um, with um, pattern books, project ideas, pantographs, things like that, so that I can find them. So I have both open and closed shelving. Serger setup. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. My embroider machine stuff. And then the Shishiko and the embroider machine are right here as well. So that's my sewing room down and dirty um outside is a design wall right um that i use so i have sunshine sunlight um and projects i'm working on and also you know incentive to maybe get a little extra exercise so there you go that's a tour